Hey guys, so here I am with a vlog that you guys requested on Instagram stories, so thank you to you if you voted. But you guys voted to see my new tattoo that I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna be giving Pony this entire leg, uh, what isn't covered so far. And so I'm going to Chicago to get tattooed by Pony. I'm also going um, to Chicago for a very important business meeting that I can't share with you guys. It's a secret, but it's going to be an important one. <laughs> so um, I also, uh, if you watch my Instagram stories also, you like get all the behind the scenes, but I basically, it's kind of drying now, but my hose outside just exploded all over my face, all over my shoes, all over my outfit. So we're looking real good today. Um, something else even more embarrassing happened before that, but I'm not gonna share that with you guys because it's just way too embarrassing and I'm not gonna go there today. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the car is gonna pick me up in uh, about 20 minutes and we're gonna be off to Chicago. So um, I have a bunch of, uh, I have a presentation to go over in the plane um, and whatnot. So we'll be doing that and uh, what else? I'm just stoked to get tattooed. Like um, I had posted on my feed that I was like, I really need to get tattooed again. Who should I go to? And then Pony reached out to me and sent me a message and said that someone that he knows said, oh, hey, check out her post. Like she's looking to get tattooed. He messaged me and I looked at his work online and I was like, holy shit, because I want a bunch of portraits on this leg and he, he has such talent. Like he's able to do them quite small too so I can fit all of them. Like I have this one on here that I've been getting removed. I've only had one session, but this is really big. Like I'm not gonna be able to fit very many faces on here if I go this big. So I'm hoping that we can kind of do them through here and then I want more Twilight Zone stuff down there. So, um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to get tattooed. I'm excited, but not. It's like a love-hate relationship, you know? It's just, it's gonna be painful, it's gonna be uncomfortable, and it's gonna be expensive. That's just, that's just how it goes. So. Wish me luck, but I will be around Chicago, so I'm hoping that some of you say hi, because I was at UTC yesterday, and I passed a few people, some people said hello, but I passed a few people, who is that? Oh, it's my business partner. I passed a few people that were like, oh, it's Kristen Leanne, okay, I gotta answer this. Very well. Um, it's facing me. <laughs> Dance monkey. So we are uh, headed to get some lunch right now, and these two are going to be headed to the airport in a little bit. But until then, we're going to go get some food at Dearborn. It looks pretty cool. Hi. Hey. How's it going? About me. Thank you. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna eat shit on this uneven sidewalk, so I'm gonna go, but yeah, that's what we're doing tomorrow. I wanna get my tattoo, pretty stoked about it. Still don't know which tattoo we're gonna start with, but, you know. Oh, there's a Mastro Steakhouse. You get a tattoo of me. That, that ship is fucking sailed. I've still got two tattoos of you. That was your mistake. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Today is the day of my tattoo appointment. And I don't really know what we're starting with. Um, I basically texted Pony yesterday, or he texted me and he's like, hey, like, what do you want to get? And I kind of gave him a list of like some different portraits that I do want on my left leg. And so I don't know where we're gonna tattoo today on that leg, <laughs> and I don't know what we're gonna tattoo exactly, but he's gonna pull some reference photos and um, whatnot. So today I got up, I set my alarm clock for 8 p.m. instead of 8 a.m. I do this all the time. I'm notorious for doing this because I said it when I'm like half asleep. So thankfully my ass woke me up at 8 a.m. even though I said it for 8 p.m. So I got up, went to the gym, and I showered. I really should probably wash my hair today, but I'm just gonna shove some more dry shampoo in there and call it good. And then I'm gonna go downstairs get some breakfast. Um, I tried to find a room service menu in here can't find one anywhere. It's like almost as hard as figuring out how to turn on and off the lights in hotel rooms that you're not sure about. <laughs> so that's kind of the plan today. 
and I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I'll be solo, so who knows? Uh, probably take myself out to dinner with my bleeding leg. I don't know. But, um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna hit Nordstrom up. I got these like, I got these like perfumes yesterday from Joe Malone that I really like. They're like unisex. And I got these two that you can layer together. And I randomly just picked them out of the assortment and they're actually, they're recommended to be layered together. I was like, oh my God, I'm so good at this. So I really liked the way that they smelled. And so I purchased them and then they said, oh, we're gonna give you a free travel gift. Well, they gave me these like little ones and I thought it was two of the same that I had already purchased. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. I'm leaving on a trip tomorrow. I'll take these little guys instead. So without even looking at the labels, I put them in my bag and I just sprayed one on me and I'm like, this doesn't smell as good as I remember it smelling like when I was in the store. And then I grabbed the second one to layer it and it's like gel, like moving around. So they gave me a new scent and shower gel of like a totally different scent too. I was like, why? I don't know why I just assumed that they were giving me like minis of the ones I was buying. Like I just assumed that. So now I was like really set on having those scents on this trip. So I'm gonna go to Nordstrom and get the actual tiny ones that I can travel with. So I'm not buying like something totally pointless, but I can at least travel with it. Anyways, I don't know why I felt the need to tell you guys that story. I was just looking at it this morning, just thinking, this all could have been avoided, but it would have made my bag heavier if I brought the larger ones. So whatever. Um, I also think I need to buy some socks. I didn't plan. I never plan in the sock department and bring enough socks, but Anyways, I finally got a workout in this morning. My forearms had been so sore for like a week and a half from um, uh, trying to wakeboard and they're just now getting to the point where I can actually lift a weight. So I hadn't done an upper body day at the gym for like over a week. So that felt good to do. I didn't really like fully get to get into it. They don't have all the same equipment. The gym here is actually kind of um, not very exciting. The last gym I was at, the last hotel was really good. I switched hotels last yesterday. So now I'm kind of like right in downtown Chicago, I think. Uh, River North, I think is what it's called. I'm by Nordstrom and stuff. And um, right across the street from True Food. So anyways, that is the agenda for today. And uh, God, I hate getting tattooed. It's not pleasant. It's painful. Um, just gotta find your happy place, put some ear, ear, pod, ear pods in and just like, I don't know, zone out. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, but let's see what kind of reference Pony has. And I actually need to text him to make sure he's okay being on camera. So I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna be tattooing right here and then save this piece for something else, Twilight Zone, and then another piece back here. And once he puts it on here, I'll show you what we're gonna do. Well, let's try it, shall we? What'll we ask it? I don't know. Am I gonna be promoted for Pete's sake? It has been decided in your favor. Nice. Nice, nice. That looks really cool. This is Pony, everybody. Say hello. <laughs> We're getting this stencil put on. If you're going to get your first tattoo, this is probably where you should get tattooed. It's really a pleasant spot. <laughs> <laughs>
right, we're done. What do you think? It oh, looks no. so good. Yeah. He's gonna add some other Twilight Zone stuff around here, maybe some like stars and everything, but he's looking pretty hot. We need to name him though, so leave your name ideas in the comments below. We need some help. Um, Pony said Herman, so if you're for Herman, then leave Herman. <laughs> just got home from my tattoo appointment or I mean to my hotel um, I am exhausted <laughs> I think I just got tattooed for like seven hours straight um, I'm so tired <sighs> oh, so, so hungry um, and I couldn't find a room service menu in here so I think I'm just gonna drink some water and call it a night and head to bed and I hope that I don't drop this camera on my face right now but um, I I'm gonna go to Nordstrom tomorrow morning. Um, I think I already said that earlier. Yeah, I already told you guys that. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna take a hot shower right now and just relax and maybe read a little bit and then head to bed. Getting tattooed takes a lot out of you. My tattoo looks so good. I'm like so excited about it. Like, oh, he looks so good. He's got a jewel in this side too, which is really cool. Yeah, my pants are unbuttoned, don't judge me. Um, yeah, so shower time and then gonna head to bed and then I am flying to Nashville tomorrow. So pretty excited about that. I get to get the keys to my house and I cannot show you guys the inside of my house right now. There are reasons for that and I'm sure you can imagine what they are. Stalkers. So, um, yeah, I actually know somebody who posted their house online and they actually had to move because they did it too soon. And, um, someone posted their address on Reddit and stuff and I just... I don't need that kind of drama in my life after uh, what's happened this year so far. And uh, we came out strong and on top, so I'm gonna stick with that. So yeah, pop it in the shower. I don't need to repeat myself a thousand times. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, okay. <laughs> Supposed to be pulling this off and it literally hurts. It's like stuck to the tattoo. Like, do you see that pulling? Oh, that feels really not good over a fresh tattoo. Oh, fuck my life. Oh. I would rip fast like a band-aid, but that's not what you're supposed to do, so I just have to torture myself slowly. Oh. I took the uh, second skin, the first one that um, Pony had put on off, and now we're gonna put a new one on. So this stuff's actually pretty cool. It's breathable and they come in different sizes, I'm assuming, because the one that he had put on me was a little bit larger than this. So let's put this bad boy on. I think I'm gonna need two of them. I don't, maybe I can fit. Nah, gotta use two. So then it leaves the in on there. Oh shit, I have a giant fucking air bubble. I was supposed to watch out for those. Eh. Dude, Pony put this on like a freaking professional. I was like, oh, that looks easy as hell. That's what professionals do. They make everything that they are good at look really easy. <laughs> and then you get home and you feel like a freaking failure. <laughs> We've got a giant air bubble, but what are you gonna do? I mean, honestly, should I just use the lap? No, I'm not peeling that off again. That's gonna hurt like a mother. All right, we're ready for breakfast. Bye, Chicago. Okay, we are here. Oh my gosh. Just got the keys to my new house. It feels so good. Oh my gosh, it's so echoey in here because there's nothing in here. Um, my realtor, Brian, slash now is just my friend, got me this custom made leather little piece that has a K on it. This is so cute. Brian, you are a badass <laughs> for making this happen. And also, he got me, he's just been amazing basically the entire time, but he got me a spa, um, like a massage and a facial, because he's like, everything he went through this house situation, you deserve that, which was so freaking nice. He also bought me a measuring tape, which was wonderful because I need I needed to measure right here because I need to get a fridge. Um, so as much as I'd like to give you guys an empty tour right now, I can't do that yet. I have reasons, um, <laughs> mostly for my safety. 
and uh, so I will be doing that soon, but I am so freaking excited to be in my own house. It feels so good. I'm so excited. Um, when I got to Nashville, people were like asking me like, oh, are you visiting? I'm like, yeah, but I also own a house there now, here now. So I'm visiting, but I'm not. Pretty exciting. We did it. We did it. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna stop thinking about it because I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> On my closing day, I um, I cried when I came home from the bank. I was like, I think all the way driving home from the bank, I was just like sobbing because I was just so overwhelmed with gratitude and I was just so excited for this whole process to like, not be over, but like, I've got the keys. Like, there's nothing else to worry about now. Like, I just gotta get my ass over here and all my animals, and we're good. So, um, I'm heading back um, to San Diego tonight, and I'm not ready to go. Like, I, you know what's really weird is every time I travel, I'm kind of a homebody. So, I'm usually gone for about four days, and then I, like, want to go back home. Like, I'm, like, itching to go home, see my animals, and hang out, and just, like, be in my house and in my element. Like, I'm not ready to go home tonight. Like, I don't want to go back to San Diego. <laughs> like, I want to stay here, um, which is not typical for me. So I think that that's saying a lot about Nashville for me and just like the vibe here. Like, I'm ready for it. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready to be living in Nashville. So, yeah. I will give you guys a tour when I'm able to. My arm is about to fall off, so I'm gonna get off this thing. I'm gonna go get some brunch in a little bit here. I'm gonna just hang out my last day here in Nashville and um, head to the airport later and we'll be back. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Keep an eye out for the home tour. If you would like to see a home tour, leave an emo a home emoji in the comments below and thumbs this video up so I know that you guys are liking kind of like content around the new home. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, I also wanted to say, even though I am not able to respond to every single one of you, I saw so many congratulation DMs in my DM um, inbox. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for uh, just thinking about me and sending me a sweet note and like your warm wishes like I really appreciate it a lot and a lot of you sent those So I, I can't respond to everybody and I can't even begin to try but I just wanted to say thank you so much And I did see them and I really appreciate it. So 